What a pandemic. We made it. We're here. We come in love. Love is action. Love is love. Love is love. Love is love. Man, man came to us around May and said, you know, you guys might as well sign a lease. Uh, every, all your neighbors are, they're all the same. If you don't, we're just gonna take the gas out from underneath you anyway. Within a month, we had a contaminated well. Activists from New York come here and attempt to defame our community with the delivery of water to a community that has no need for the delivery of water. That's how dangerous Dimmick water is. Yeah. If this water is just fine, why don't you get your ass down here and come and drink it? This whole thing's been blown way out of proportion for the purpose of winning a lawsuit. Dimmick is about money, not about water. Everyone else was doing it. Okay. And they wanted everybody around to, you know, to sign. We plan on helping our grandchildren like with their education. This road, uh, prior to the gas company coming here and fixing this road, this road was almost impassable every spring. There's no way that the township could afford to do the, the quality of work that was done here. Two cars did not meet here in this whole section. You actually had to find the spot to pull off. Uh, we was contracted to build gas pads, or supply the material for the gas pads, and it's really helped our business in the last two years. We was having a hard time keeping up. We was running 24 hours a day and putting on more guys. So it was basically boom town. You've screwed your neighbors enough. You've screwed your neighbors enough. Even if their water isn't as poison as everyone knows, everyone here knows it is, what skin is it off your nose to let another township in the Christmas spirit come and do one good turn for a community? How since up in this area over the years because they're just they're just they couldn't afford to be here. Every property on this in our township here was a farm. And some of those farmers had maybe a dozen cows and maybe some of them had 30 or 40 cows, but they're all gone. We have we have three milking uh, um, dairy farms left, but they're still milking cows in this township. At one time, the logging was big in this area, and there's, there's the economy the way it was. No one was building. The, the bottom fell out of that uh, logging business here a number of years ago. Uh, we also have had uh, bluestone quarries in the area, and when people aren't building houses and they're not building buildings, they don't need stone, and mm -hmm. so the, the, the stone quarries have gone down. So, I mean, it's, it's just been, you know, just kind of a progressive down, down spiral. I think things are looking up since, since the gas uh, industry has been here in the last three to four years. Unbelievable amount of work that's out there. They expect uh, those people to work a lot of hours. Um, they work hard, and, and consequently they pay them for that. And that's something we haven't seen here in, you know, in a long time. So I have an associate in surveying and a bachelor's in uh, environmental engineering technology okay. from Penn State Harrisburg. All right, all right. Done some environmental consulting. Where Chased uh, tri uh, uh, chloroethylene plumes, you know, up to a mile on some military bases. And I've seen some real nasty things. Okay. And uh, Dimmick isn't one of them. Yeah. You know, when you get on the internet and you read a blog, I drove to Dimmick and I got out of my car and I got sick. The air is so bad. It really upsets you yeah. <laughs> as, as a landowner here. I was drinking my water anyway. I never took this well offline. I never had a water buffalo and I had some of the highest methane in Dimmick. Was it a similar situation to what the Sotnos had? Uh, yes, their methane wasn't as high, but they had iron infiltration. Yeah. That's why their water was brown. There's no doubt it was from drilling. Yeah. After they plugged the, the wells, the first consent order mandated the plugging of three wells. After they plugged those wells, the Sontner's uh, iron went down to 0.1 milligram per liter. Or the secondary drinking water standard is 0.3. In yeah. other words, if you get above 0.3, that's when your toilet might, might start turning brown from that water setting in it. Not because you're a slob and yeah. don't clean your toilet from the iron. Yeah. I did accept the water. It was free, and our water's always been kind of lousy. Yeah. So uh, I took it, but as soon as I got this, I discontinued water service. Uh, a lot of the anti-drilling folks don't believe me, but okay. uh, 
If you want, I can pull a raw water sample out of here from my well. There's a port to do that for testing purposes. Okay. And I'll drink it for so you. That's <laughs> you already met them. Cool. Let's drink. Water. We can get any to come out. Yep. We have enough pressure left to get some out. You can see it's fading fast, but there we go. Now, when it was 35 milligrams per liter, it looked pure white. As you can see, this, these bubbles will come to the top and dissipate. This methane wants out. Yeah. But. That's how dangerous Dimmick water is. Yeah. It just isn't. This is, I don't know when this was, but that, that's water that came out of our well. Okay. That's not too pretty, is it? No. <laughs> but they say nothing's wrong with our water. In the event it is determined that said operations have adversely affected said water supply, then immediately the lessee, at its own, at, at its own expense, shall take all steps necessary to return said water supply to pre-drilling conditions. And has that happened? No, not at all. Three, over three years later, and it, and it hasn't happened yet. They put a system in my house. Um, this happened September 11th of 08 is when, when the well got contaminated. I think around November, they put a, November or December, they put a filtration system in my house. We used that for almost a year with that filtration. It, it, was, it wasn't good even with that water. You know, the, the carbon filter, I mean, a big, big, you know, big tank like that, that would go bad within two months. Two to three months, they'd have to go change it because the water was so bad. The way I'd notice is if I get in the shower and it smelled like fishy pond water, I knew the water, it was going bad again. Yeah. I cut the pipe off because I wanted a sample of it to keep. And, I, and it started dripping back, you know, dripping just a little bit. So I put a bucket up there and I caught the water coming back out of the system. I mean, it looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Unless you look at the bottom stuff. Do you feel at all you've been uh, ostracized? Or oh, absolutely. Lost, lost friends in the community? Oh, yeah. Every, they, they don't like us. They won't say anything to our face, but they'll write about us on the blog sites and everything like that. They'll write stuff about us, but they won't say nothing to our face. If we accept the, the consent order, what it says there, that means that, that I have to sign something and, and they're not responsible for my water anymore if I take the money. And that's, that's, I'm not doing that because they destroyed my water and I want it, and I want it returned back to what, the way it was. So the, the money, the money is there. So that's that's why they that's why they made that decision yesterday that they're going to take our water away come November 30th. about water. I think they want money. It was never about water. It's a lie about the water being contaminated. EPA said it's a lie. DEP says it's a lie. The DEP says it's a lie. The truth is that Dimmick is being abused by the media and by these outsiders who totally misrepresent what is actually happening. Celebratory as just bringing clean, fresh water. Democracy is 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 like water. You know, you need it to survive. Yes. And the water here is contaminated. And what's going on here is our democracy has become contaminated. In Pennsylvania, we have more private water wells than anywhere in the United States. I live off of one of them. 
When you've contaminated that water in the ground, you've taken away something very fundamental about Pennsylvania. When you're overrun by Halliburton trucks and fracking trucks and, and gas rigs and all of a sudden your water turns black or your animals start dying and they don't want to drink it or your kids get sick or you can light it on fire and, and there's no media attention around here. There's nothing happening around here. To, to actually speak out and say something is wrong was a terrifying thing to do and, and something that was incredibly brave. I want to speak out to those people from your town board, from those people who showed up last night and were, and were being outrageous to these, to these victims. I want to speak to you and say, hey, this is water we're talking about. They were setting a precedent in PA that says if you contaminate people's water, you have to pay for it, you have to restore that. It's the Pennsylvania Constitution. And the Corbett administration came in and they canceled it. The Corbett administration came in and they killed it. And they, and they tell Craig Soutner, if you call the DEP one more time, we're going to arrest you. Ever since they did that, I still call, and guess what? I'm still here, ain't I? They're not going to get away with this in Dimmick, and they're not going to get away with this in Washington County, in Fayette County, in Greene County, in Tioga County, in, 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 in Susquehanna County, and in Bradford County. They're not going to get away with this. This is what hydrofracking is about. They've dropped this bomb on our communities, and it's destroying our communities. And so I'm reaching out to you. I'm reaching out to the world to remember when you turn on your tap, what a beautiful and, and simple, essential thing it is that you enjoy and not take it for granted. I'm reaching out to the other civilians in Dimmick who this could easily be. I'm reaching out to the people in New York who this could easily be and to remind you that we are all bound to each other by water and it has to be respected and that's why we're here today delivering water to Dimmick. <laughs>